I wanted to see if I could play Halo 1 on Legendary, except I literally have to move to play. I'm using the app Rewazd so I can use the phone in my pocket to walk forward, a gyroscope controller like a Joy-Con to look around, and the phone strapped to my arm for melee. <laughs> it's so stupid. Look at that. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I love this setup so much. The goal here is can I beat the Pillar of Autumn on Legendary? Let's go. Okay, let's go. Legendary. That's gonna blow up. The first section here is not difficult at all. I just have to walk to Captain Keys and then get my first weapon. I'm not taking any chances here, okay? I didn't really have a good plan going in. I thought I would just try to take out all the bad guys in this first room. Good idea, right? <sighs> okay, I died anyway. <laughs> Since that worked super well, and I always learned from my mistakes, I decided to not change anything I did. Okay, so I thought that since shooting doesn't work, maybe punching the bad guys would work, right? Uh, oh, I did the punch! It didn't work! No! Uh. Alright, new technique. Let's try just running into the next room and avoiding this big room. That could work. Not that way! Not that way! Not that way! Since I'm just dying over and over again for a bit, I'll explain that I actually switched to using a PS4 controller instead of a Joy-Con, since the Joy-Con won't stay connected to my Bluetooth adapter. Also, at this point, I decided that I was done dying so much, so I started watching a walkthrough of this level on Legendary so that I could know which enemies I could run past and which ones I had to defeat to move forward. No! Where's my punching? Punch! 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 <laughs> the punching's not working! <laughs> He's laughing. Alright, now that I knew I could run through the doorway on the right, not to the left, and skip all the enemies in the big room, all I had to do was execute a well-timed smack to the back of the head of this last guy. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Finally! Checkpoint! All of that was pretty much the tutorial for this challenge. That first room took me 20 minutes, and like, I don't know, 15 deaths, give or take. Now that I knew what to do, I was confident that I could accomplish this goal. Probably. Either way, I'll speed it up a bit now that you know how I'm going about all of this. Oh no, he threw a grenade at me! Nuts! All right, so I gotta watch out for their grenades. Oh gosh! No, 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 no! 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 <laughs> we're getting there, we're getting there. No, 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 don't you, don't you do it. Oh, got me from behind, are you kidding me? Yes, stinker. There's a couple of bad guys over here, but nothing that a couple of grenades can't t take care of. <laughs> If you know what you're doing, like, not even a speedrun, just a, a rushed playthrough of this level takes approximately 13 minutes. At least the video that I'm watching is 13 minutes long. And so far this has taken me, um, an hour and a half. <laughs> so, 
We're going to be here for a little while, folks. Okay, so at this point, I had made it to the second floor, which is where I felt like the difficulty really ramped up. But you know, I felt like I was actually getting a lot better too, and dying way less than I was at the beginning. I felt like I could really accomplish this. Oh man, I almost had the punch. Oh. I'm getting the health back. I went for the health back. I got it, and I survived. And I'm good. And I'm gonna die again. And... No. Oh, come on! Come. <laughs> Worth it. This is the most intense session of We Fit. <laughs> I mean, basically. I just feel like games are too uh, calculated these days. Like, you know, you got your mouse and keyboard, everything is ergonomic, and people, people don't just like play anymore, you know? Like, I loved the mentality behind the Wii because it was like, it was more like bringing an arcade kind of scenario back to, back to the living room, and I loved that. And I was like, you know, this needs to come back. This method of physical gaming needs to come back. You know, arcade games had Dance Dance Revolution. They had games where you had to physically aim and shoot. So why not combine the two, where you gotta physically step and physically shoot? Oh gosh, I was so close to dying. Uh, no! And now, the final stretch. Can I do it? Oh, there's so many. There's so many. I had a lot of grenades over there, though. Maybe I'll just kind of keep checking grenades until they're all gone. Oh, that went backwards. This is totally the way to do it, is to pick up the grenades. There we go. One last lifeboat. Yes! I've made it! Yes! Let's go! <laughs> After over two hours, I finally did it. What should have taken maybe 20 to 30 minutes took over two hours and about 4,000 steps. Was this an optimal way to exercise or play games? Not at all, but man was it fun. Let me know what other fun gaming challenges I should try. Maybe Skyrim? Let me know. Thanks for watching.